Well, a very good afternoon, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us today for a webinar I know you'll find useful and exciting. My name is Sandy Elson, and please forgive the hoarseness of my voice. Um, on behalf of the Travel Professional Community and TravelProfessionalNews.com, I want to welcome all of you and thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to be with us. Our host today is Tricep Solutions, and our speaker is Namita Premnath. Namita's topic today is How Can Accelerator Help You Prepare for Peak Season? Namita joined the Tricep Solution office in Dallas, Texas in 2017 to serve as the Senior Product Manager for Accelerator. Namita utilizes her role to find opportunities and gaps in the leisure travel marketplace to push new generation ideas to help grow and improve Accelerator. Namita brings her seven plus years of software and mobile app expertise from different industries to help make Accelerator intuitive and innovative for travel agents. And I think you'll agree once we see Namita's wonderful webinar. <clears throat> Tricep Solutions is part of the Lamakia Enterprises, which has been in the business of developing and executing innovative travel solutions since 1974. While you may not be that familiar with Tricep Solutions, I'm sure you're very familiar with some of their other companies, the Mark Travel Corporation, FunJet Vacations, Blue Sky Tours, and Vax Vacation Access. Tricep also powers many packaged vacation brands you use, including Southwest Vacations, United Vacations, and many of the Las Vegas hotel vacation packages. Before we get started, please remember that you're all muted, but we welcome your questions. You can type in your questions at any time in the question area you see on the right-hand panel of your screen. At the end of Namita's presentation, we'll get to as many questions as we can. Also at the end of the presentation, Namita will be giving away a free one-year subscription to Accelerator. So stick around and find out how you can win this wonderful prize. <clears throat> so I'm going to turn the microphone over to Namita so she can get started. Welcome back, Namita. Thank you, Sandy. As always, thank you for a wonderful introduction. And to everyone who's uh, joining us today, thank you for joining today's webinar. I know it being holiday season, um, things can get a little chaotic, so I really appreciate everyone taking the time out, uh, giving me some of your time today to really learn how uh, there are tools in the market that can really help you prepare, organize, uh, stay on top of your business, especially with peak season coming, uh, coming at us very, very, very quickly. And uh, if you have to drop off early uh, for any means, that's that, that, by any means, that's absolutely fine. But I do highly encourage you to stay till the very end because I will be revealing what new exciting enhancements we have coming in the next several months. And as, uh, as Sandy already mentioned, an incredible price giveaway. So please do hang on. Um, and as Sandy mentioned, Accelerator was developed by Tricep Solutions, the same technology company that created award-winning Vax Vacation Access, which many of you uh, might or uh, may be familiar with. Well, Vax was developed about 17 years ago during a time where other travel brands in the market were still somewhat archaic and difficult to use. So with the success of Vax, came the urge for Tricep Solutions a couple of years ago to dive back into the market to see what else can we do to help solve, um, solve solutions for travel agents. So not much had really changed when we did some market research and went in and started talking to different travel agents, finding out there's still a huge gap with so many tools and technologies available. There's still something missing in the leisure travel space for whether you're independent contractor, home-based agent, um, whatever your business size or your expertise is. And many of the um, concerns that were voiced uh, may be very, very familiar to you even now. For instance, there's still not a way for, uh, even with all the technologies in the marketplace, there's still not a way to retain loyal customers. All the software that's out in the market is either too pricey or too complicated to use. And there are just too many tools for simple activities. A lot of agents just want one place where they can do everything that they need to manage their clients and stay on top of their business. Of course, keeping track of your daily tasks, whether you know selling travel is your part-time business or if it's full-time, it still uh, requires a lot of different moving pieces to be placed together to have a successful sale and return customers. 
and managing once again your client database whether you're using post-its or excel sheets whatever it is um, is there a tool right now that can you know existing in the marketplace that can help you manage everything whether it's your reservations for your clients their birthdays all in one place and some of the ones some of the things that I do here it's not just from newer agents but it's also from seasoned agents where they're spending way too much time just researching vacation options for their clients so with all that being said we launched a tool in the marketplace some of you might be familiar with it um, and some of you might have even tried it out during one of our earlier stages well with all these pain points we decided we need to do something to help tie in um, all the gaps and find a solution and we're constantly adding new features whether you're a vax user whether you book mostly cruises or tours or whether you do all of them we have one place where you can pull in all of your reservations uh, if you have clients um, whether it's already on vax or you have your own database of it bring it right into accelerator manage everything you need whether it's your clients preference preferences interests uh, their related travelers to them all of that can be managed on accelerator now one thing i do want to mention is having clients is great but having high quality clients is even better so during peak season it's really important to think about not just decluttering your workspace but maybe you might even want to consider decluttering maybe some of those clients the ones where who come to you just for I don't know if this ever really happens but just for travel insurance right or just for air and maybe you want to refocus your your business on just serving some of those clients who have brought you more in the past. Um, and once again, business tools where you can track your sales, stay on top of what suppliers you sell the most, what destinations you sell the most. And of course, the biggest thing that um, a lot of, I know new people would really like to have access to, but also I know seasoned experts who are not familiar with certain other regions. We also have a research tool called Discover. Uh, Sandy, I'd like to take this moment to just drop in our first poll question, if you don't mind. Okay, we have some poll questions for our audience. And let's go ahead and launch that poll. Do you currently use a client relationship management CRM tool? So go ahead and please vote for yes or no. And we'll give a few moments for everyone to uh, tell us whether they use a CRM tool right now or not. <clears throat> okay, let's see how we did. So 33% of you say yes, you use a CRM, but 67% of you said no, you are not using a CRM. So there you go, Namita. That's interesting. So I have a pretty good crowd here of, of a little bit of both, so that's good. Well, with that being said, I'm going to jump right in. I know we're here to look at how we can actually help uh, prepare for peak season. I'm going to introduce you to Accelerator here. So when you log into Accelerator, I want, I want you to keep in mind Accelerator is a separate product. Um, I know I've mentioned VAX a couple of times with Separator, uh, but Accelerator is an independent product. It's not just for VAX users by any means, uh, and there is a cost to using Accelerator, which I will um, bring up towards the end of my presentation. But when you first log into Accelerator uh, with your, whether you're an agent or an agency owner, you come into your home page. Obviously, it's going to be empty the first time. Now, if you are a one person show, um, you're, it's just you and your agency. Well, that's great. That's perfect for you. But we're also uh, ideal for agencies who have multiple agents or independent contractors. Uh, and for that, I just want to take you through the agency settings to show you what all capabilities we have. I'm really bad about paying my bill, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's gonna be there. I think it was there last time too. But once you register for Accelerator, all of your information is captured here uh, as is, as per your registration. You can always go in and edit as you need. And what I love is the fact that you can create branches. So if you have multiple independent contractors, they want to have their own logo, their own branding uh, for their agency, they can actually upload their logo. 
you can create a header and footer message and I'm going to show you where that comes in a little bit later but we do have the itinerary uh, creator and payment summary creator uh, features in Accelerator so that's really neat I know that excites a lot of people and we're actually enhancing those features so I'm not going to get into that too much right now you can also decide what kind of roles you want your agent to have. Do you want them to see all the trips and all, all your clients or just certain parts of it? Same as your independent contractor. And then you can select um, your users as well. One really neat thing that I love personally because I'm competitive and I like to stay on track is our sales goal section. Our sales goal actually allows an agency owner or administrator to go in and set up different goals uh, for their for their uh, for their team for their office for their agency. So, for instance, I have some FunJet goals here, Southwest goals here. Uh, you can determine if if you want to sell more Royal Caribbean. I'm I'm really bad at selling Royal Caribbean, so my agency owner created a goal for me to sell more Royal Caribbean. And I'm going to show you how when I import reservations uh, from Royal Caribbean, how that's going to play into my sales tab. So that's just a quick overview of some of the capabilities, how you can set roles, permissions, do your own branding, do some default header footer language, uh, all just within an accelerator pretty simply. This is your main workspace, your home page. From here, you can do pretty much everything. You can import reservations. I'm really excited because this is something we just launched today, the ability to click right in the header and import a reservation. And I'm gonna show you that uh, shortly here. You can add a client and these are available from any page with an accelerator. So you, if you navigate deep down in, you can still do all these uh, functions from the header. So within the client list, um, you know, you can A, either import right from, uh, you can actually do two years of your VAX reservation history import. So once you, in fact, I would suggest that be the first thing any user does, any agent does, go in and set up your VAX account and import your reservations and it pulls in two years worth of your VAX history right into Accelerator. How neat is that? That means all the lead travelers from those reservations are created as a client with an accelerator. Not so much on VAX, well that's absolutely fine. You can actually import an existing client list that for say that you use some other tool and you want to export all the clients from that tool. Well, as long as they match our format, you can actually upload all those clients right into accelerator. So that's really neat. And that's how I actually have my really amazing list of clients uh, if you'll, the, no re resemblance or uh, any relation to, you know, any of these celebrity names here. So that's the client list. And the next one is a task tab. And I keep forgetting how important this tab is until I show it to an actual agent. I'm not an agent. So I, I, I don't, uh, my daily workload is very different and I keep forgetting how attractive this feature is. So within the task tab, you can actually, once you started pulling in some information into Accelerator, you actually see everything in one place in terms of what, what trips have you started booking for someone or who's departing uh, here in the next week or this week or uh, even today. And another great thing is, well, who's returning from a trip? So I could send a welcome back email, right? Or welcome back um, or welcome home email, whatever, whatever it is, or follow up with them. And then my tasks are always gonna be here. I can create tasks for trips, for clients, anything I wanna do, I'm gonna see here daily based on whatever I've created for that day. This is really neat for agency owners uh, who wanna stay on top of their business. So for this month, I've sold a lot of Royal Caribbean surprisingly for someone who's really bad at selling Royal Caribbean but then again this isn't just mine this is my entire team in fact I can go year to date and see what my average trend is and how I usually sell so as you can see Funjet is my most sold uh, most sold vacation type and Royal Caribbean is right there so it's in type of supplier and the sales amount. I can even see what kind of destinations I sell the most. So Cancun, of course, that's pretty impressive. So it's really nice to have this in this visual format, especially me being a very visual person. Don't really care for all that color. Well, that's absolutely fine. You can see it in tab view as well. So that's really, really, really nice to have. 
So I mentioned sales goals earlier. Well, this is where you can see all of your sales goals that you set up. And as you can see, I've really exceeded my sales goal for Royal Caribbean. Um, green means what I've actually made and blue is what my goal was. Uh, but it's really nice to have this. And once again, you can see it in tab view or visual um, graphical view. And that's really nice to have. Another thing that a lot of our uh, users and agents like to do is keep on track of their commission, make sure, and I know it's it, it can be a little painstaking to chase suppliers for commission or track down all of your commission information. Well, you don't have to worry about that uh, when you have it readily available within your dashboard, right? So this shows me that, hey, I'm expecting some commission here in December. I need to do my holiday shopping. So that shows me exactly where I'm getting my commissions from. And as soon as I get those commissions, I can actually go in and update it as paid. And this actually, you can export it as a report. So if you want to send it, whether you're with a host agency, whatever it is, um, you can export that and send it. And I'm not going to get too much into the host agency part of it. I don't know how many people are part of host agencies, but um, we do have the ability to send reporting and report your sales directly to host agencies. So that's really nice. So that's a quick overview of our of our home page and all the different capabilities of just within the home page and the different tabs. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is our recently viewed. Any page you go to, you'll see all your recent clients, trips, and reservations you were working on for quick navigation. That's a really nice feature. Now, I mentioned VAX and that you can import reservations from VAX. Um, for the sake of time, I'm not going to go into each um, reservation import, uh, but I'll show you how a VAX reservation that's been imported looks like. So, for instance, I have Georgia Clooney, and all I would do is hit on import reservation here or here. When you're clicking from the header, you actually don't need to uh, choose a client. But I know I reserved something for Georgia Clooney, so all I would do is hit on import reservation, and I know it was a FunJet vacation, and it's through VAX. And all I would do is enter in that reservation number and import the information. Now I'm going to show you how neat it looks to have that readily imported. Um, I did this a little earlier, so it's already ready for me, but I imported this New York and New York trip from Funjet. And since it imported directly from VAX for me, it's really nice. It's going to, you can actually create an itinerary. So for instance, I don't know why she would need insurance, travel insurance, uh, personal insurance, or additional travel insurance while in New York, but knowing I know myself, and anytime I step outside of my apartment, I need insurance, so I don't blame her. <laughs> but if, if you look at it, it breaks down into the FunJet vacation that was booked, and then any additional air that I booked elsewhere. And to let you know, if you make any changes on VAX, as of today, this will automatically uh, refresh that data for you and show you everything that is current based on whatever you've done on VAX. So that's, our, uh, that's part of our release today, and it's really exciting to have that automatically refreshed. So now I'm going to show you what the itinerary looks like. That's my that's my logo for my company. It has my, uh, my name, my information, but then again, I can go back and edit it if I want to change it. I have a default header here with the information that I want going out to my client, uh, but once again, this is also customizable. So for those of you who don't like to enter in information every time, you can actually, I showed it to you earlier, where you can set up your settings to have it as default header and a default footer. And this is my itinerary. Actually, it didn't pull up my VAX one because that was a canceled itinerary, so I apologize. But as you, as, as you can see, it pulls in everything that is actually booked. And you can email it or you can print it. Now, this is a feature that we're actually enhancing significantly uh, as of uh, for 2018. So that's really exciting, and I want to go into um, – uh, I'm not going to go into the details of that, but I'll mention it a little bit later as part of our future enhancements. But just in case uh, you wanted to see what all components would have showed on, shown on the itinerary, it would have been all of this. Once again, I apologize. I, the, it was canceled, so it did not pull into the itinerary. 
So that's the itinerary. You can also send a payment summary to your clients. Uh, if you want to, if they've been making payments, you can go in and send that right to your client, print it, email it, add any additional payments. This is also going to be enhanced to have an invoice feature instead of just a payment summary and an itinerary. And once again, I will uh, get to that towards the end of the presentation when I talk about future enhancements for 2018. Sandy, I'd love for you to pull in the second one, if you don't mind, if the second poll question. Okay, let's see what this one is. How many of your bookings are made on Vax Vacation Access? Fewer than 50%, more than 50%. All of my bookings are through Vax, or I've never heard of Vax. So agents, go ahead and vote. And again, we'll give you a few moments to do that. Okay, let's see how everyone voted. So fewer than 50%, 46% of you said that fewer than 50% of your bookings are made on VAX. More than 50%, 30% of you said that. All of my bookings are through VAX. 11% of you said that. And I've never heard of VAX. 14% of you said that. So there you go, Namita. That's pretty impressive, Sandy, that 14% have never heard of VAX. That is. Um, <laughs> So that's nice, though. I mean, I like to have that kind of diversity. It's always nice. Uh, thank you, Sandy. So once again, uh, one of the things I do want to show, uh, and given that data that we just ran through that poll, uh, I'm even more excited because it shows you how, how diverse Accelerator is in terms of the types of bookings you can manage on Accelerator. Uh, one of the things I want to show is the import reservation through a PDF. Now, what does that mean? So, although we do a VAX deep integration of auto import through VAX, for cruises, tours, any other uh, package vacations out there that you're booking, which I'm not going to name drop any of those companies just for the, the sake of the presentation, but if you do that, well, we are supporting that with our import reservation through PDF. So for instance, I know I booked something on Royal Caribbean for one of my clients. Now note that I didn't choose a client here. I can just go in and pull in this PDF. Now I'm going to show you exactly how that works because what that does is it's reading right now all the information from that agent confirmation page I received from Royal Caribbean in my email. I saved that on my desktop and I'm just uploading it right into Accelerator. And what it's doing is it's reading the information from the PDF and it's actually going to spit it back out for me into my data entry field so I don't have to do any kind of manual data entry myself. Now what's great here is it's actually detected from that PDF that I do have a client named James Jones. Um, not a very unique name, <laughs> I know, but uh, if you have multiple, it will still let you choose which one uh, of the clients you'd like to have that reservation uh, attached to or um, linked to. Now this is really neat. So I hope everyone's watching. If you're texting right now, I hope you put your phone down because I love this. <laughs> so as you can see, it's actually pulled in all this information about this reservation, including reservation amount, commission, and it actually shows you a preview of your actual PDF that you imported in. So this is my Royal Caribbean agent confirmation page that I pulled in. And this is for me to preview, validate if I wanted to add this deposit amount. Today, we're not able to capture this, but we are in the next couple of months, we're going to be able to automatically capture that as well as soon as we do more testing. So that's really neat. Imagine being able to just pull, put in a document and it reads everything and, you know, does all the work for you. It's pretty nice. So that way you can focus more on everything else you need to do as opposed to data entry. And it tells me right here, import is successful. And it shows me exactly what I need to see for this cruise. So that's really nice. And once again, I can do an itinerary. I'm hoping that it's not a canceled, no, it's not. So it breaks down that. But if you wanted to add additional components like air, et cetera, you could do that as well. And remember I mentioned that this has an impact on my sales tab. I'm going to show you right now immediately because I'm so excited about my Royal Caribbean sales, 
how it's actually increased it. I don't know if anyone was paying attention to what my dollar amount was earlier on my Royal Caribbean sales, but it was right around, right a little bit less than 80,000 and it's actually moved it up since I made that reservation in port. Um, at this point, Sandy, third poll question. I know we just did one, but I'd like to do another one. Okay, let's get to the next poll question. How much travel in dollars do you sell in a year? Five hundred thousand dollars or more? Two hundred fifty thousand to four hundred ninety-nine thousand? One hundred thousand to two hundred forty-nine thousand? Or one thousand to ninety-nine thousand dollars? So, agents, go ahead and vote, and we'll see where we'll see what kind of sample of agents we have here. I think okay. everyone sells 500000 or more. It's got to be, right? <laughs> it's only those top agents that attend these webinars, so I think you're probably right. <laughs> okay, let's see how we did. So 500000 or more, 28%. 250 to 499000 17%. 100,000 to 249,000, 22%, and 1,000 to 99,000, 33%. So it's more or less kind of almost even in those results. So there yeah, you go. Yeah, that's a pretty good breakdown. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I always like knowing to understand basically what kind of pool of agents, you know, would or would be interested in something like Accelerator. And given the low cost, I think everyone should, no matter what amount you're selling, because it's pretty affordable, and I'll, I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, so I mentioned one additional feature, which is our Discover feature. Now, what is Discover? So you're on here planning trips, uh, adding vacations, and you're used to selling Cancun but now you all of a sudden you have someone who has uh, Europe or the reverse, you're used to selling uh, European river cruises. Now all of a sudden you have someone who wants a, you know, resort in Caribbean with, with a basketball court. How, how the heck do you even go about finding that without just Googling and going through tons of different browsers? Well, that's what Discover is for, and this is included part of Accelerator. It's a very unique cutting edge advanced research technology so for Georgia Clooney, she wants, I need to send her options for resorts in the Caribbean, right? So I'm going to click on Discover. The reason I went into her is so that it ties it to Discover. If I don't want it to be linked to any client, I could just go right from the homepage without selecting a client. So what I mentioned earlier was I need to send her options for resorts in, check my spelling here. Yep, Caribbean with basketball court. Now, how impressive is this going to be if it pulls me a resort in the Caribbean with a basketball court, right? Now, think about all the other options you could do with this. For instance, cruise and tour. Um, if you have someone who wants to sail for under $4,000 to do um, history and architecture in, in Italy, it's going to pull that. And I apologize for this being a little bit slower. I... Uh, I know it's our internet connection, I apologize. But what's really neat is the amount of data you're gonna get, uh, all the information. So while you're even on the phone with your client, you can do a live research. That's, that's time with them that you're on the phone and able to actually convert that into a sale as opposed to, you know, hanging up, going going to your web browser, researching for different options, and then sending back uh, results to them. Well, instead of doing that, you can do that within Discover um, just from one page. And this should be loading here pretty quickly. Um, it's, it's never this long. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is it's powered by um, artificial intelligence. And what is that? And you'll continue to hear that um, throughout travel uh, in the upcoming months, years. It's a really hot topic. Uh, and here we have our results. But what it's doing is it's taking this concepts of basketball court, resort, Caribbean, and actually finding, uh, go, scraping through all the options available that's out there on the internet and providing it to you in a concise manner for you right here in one place. Now, this is the cool part. You click on details. Now, you want to know how exactly is this 
how do I know for sure that they have basketball court? Well, I can go to my amenities. So I might be under activities, but under activities, it's, it's gonna tell me that there's a basketball court. That's pretty neat. So these are just a few of my options that I have. I can see what dining facilities are available, even their contact information, all these images. And what's great is I can click on each of my options that I want and share it with my with my client by click clicking share. And I can email that to them saying, hey, here are some options, you know, and disclaimer, don't forget travel insurance, whatever you want to add, you can do that. You can also add multiple recipients of that. Um, so that's that's something really neat. Now say you're on the phone and they're like, I love it, let's do it. I want to, I absolutely want to go to this specific resort. You can launch your supplier portal. Now, as an agency, I set FunJet Vacations and Southwest Vacations as my preferred suppliers. That's why it's giving me these. And this would actually take me directly into the booking engines of those suppliers. But hey, here are also some other options that I can book using um, that are not my preferred. One thing I didn't um, touch on is what the vision for Discover is beyond just this. We have all this information of our client, right? They usually like to have all inclusive or for cruising, they like river cruises. They also like ocean cruises. We're taking Discover to a level where all of this information is gonna be considered in when we do a search. Um, preferred was uh, FunJet Vacations and you saw that when I launched the supplier portal, that that's one of their uh, preferred suppliers. They like they liked an experience they had previously on FunJet Vacations and they want to do it again. So that's really neat. This is great for new agents, agents who just don't want to spend time researching. Once again, this is included as part of Accelerator Complete Package. Now I'm going to jump in to a very, very important question that many, many people have. Um, and it's it's usually price, but it's also what's next, what's coming up next for us, right? So what's coming up next is in addition to all of this, we're actually adding more and more suppliers to import from. So for that PDF import, currently we have leading cruise lines and uh, some leading tour operators. We're gonna add more vacation package uh, um, providers um, tons more and we just implemented this feature a couple of months ago and we already have 10 suppliers leading suppliers and we're continuing to broaden and expand that next is a customer engagement tool what does that mean for you that means whether you want to send out automatic birthday emails texts um, maybe even on Facebook Messenger we're gonna have the ability for you to send out communication to your clients, however they wanna be communicated with. I know me, um, I don't know if anyone can tell, but I'm, I'm part of the older millennial generation. Uh, so I'm on the upper peak of the millennial crowd, but I actually prefer texts. I love all my communication via text. And I would love it if my agent was, you know, aligned with me on that um, instead of, calling me for every piece of information instead of calling me for a happy birthday message. I know it sounds awful, but it's just the world we live in and a lot of a lot of clients are the same way. Another thing is the uh, itinerary. I know I touched that, but we're going to make it much richer, much prettier. It's going to be uh, you can have it as a PDF and send it. We're going to enable pricing to be shown on it so you can choose to show pricing or not. So you can have it as an invoice if you'd like. And one thing that a lot of people are really excited about is our marketing tools. So currently we do have the ability for you to create client lists. So if you have people who cruise in the fall, you can attach clients to that list, export that list and email those clients. But we're thinking of ways of how we can uh, really leverage all the data we have, all the access we have to resources to give you a much richer experience as a user, as an agent, as an agency owner to communicate marketing material to your clients even better in a more effective way, even more targeted to their needs. So those are some of the things that are coming up here very quickly for us in the next uh, few months. We're really excited about it. But what does all that, what does all that mean? What does that cost? Well, the cost for Accelerator is $20 a month, and 
for everyone who's listening in, uh, we do have a 30-day free trial for new users. So your first month, risk-free. There's no annual contract. It's month to month. Uh, if you feel that it's not something that suits your business need, absolutely, you have the uh, option to cancel at any point without any kind of um, obligation. So we hope that we do have everything that you need, but of course, uh, that's not a reasonable expectation. And where do you sign up? Well, go right now to accelerator.tricepsolutions.com and you can register. Uh, even for the 30-day free trial, you are gonna, it is gonna prompt you to enter in your credit card details, but of course we don't bill you for that first month just to try uh, Accelerator out. I love hearing feedback as a product manager. It's my job to take any feedback anybody has about the product even non-users and implement that into our product. So, um, uh, so do try it out. Give me feedback. I love it. So, if uh, I do want to open up the last poll question, Sandy, here uh, just to get an idea, if you don't mind. Okay. Let's see what the last poll question says. Which accelerator capability is most valuable to you? Detailed client management, VAX integration, import non-VAX reservations, or the Discover Vacation search. So go ahead and vote, and we'll see how you did. Give you a couple of moments here. Okay, let's see what everyone said, Amita. Okay. Detailed client management, 40%, 47%, that's almost half of our agents. VAX integration, 12%. Import non-VAX reservations, 32%. Or the Discover Vacation search, 9%. And there you go. That's interesting because I know other times uh, we get a lot more interest in that Discover Vacation search, but I'm very excited because um, I always get different different feedback. You know, it just tells me how different each agent is uh, or agent groups are in terms of what they're looking for in improving their business or what they want from a digital tool. So hopefully everything that I've showed today is shown you today is just a preview of some of our um, uh, yeah, bigger features. We do have a lot more detailed things that uh, will help you organize better uh, in terms of um, all the trips, all the reservations, all of your client information. I didn't go into too much detail with the client profile, but you can capture anything from from what kind of cruise ship view do they like? What kind of rooms do they like? What kind of diet do they have? Um, are there any disabilities? And all of that can be captured in Accelerator with, uh, with our check boxes. So it's really neat. It's in there. Go check it out if you're signing up. You're going to love it. We get really good feedback about it. Um, so that's there. If you're currently uh, managing all that manually, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> There's a digital tool for that. All of these are ways to just help you prepare better in how you manage your business and uh, just do a better job in how you're already successful uh, with selling travel. Whether you're new to it um, or you're seasoned, we really want to make sure we're preparing you with everything that you need. Um, to succeed and sell more for peak season. So with that, I would love to open it up for any questions, Sandy. Okay. And of course, if you're not wanting to ask questions during the, the during this webinar, we're towards the end of it now, you're more than welcome to sell it, uh, send us an email to this email address. So. Okay, that's great. And uh, also, if we don't have time to get to your question, there is the email address. So uh, you can email the uh, Tricept team and uh, you'll get an answer quickly. Um, so we do have many questions. Let's start off. Uh, the um, commission uh, area that you showed, we saw that you can uh, make a note of the fact that you received commission, but can you also do commission splits like among your host? your agency and independent contractors who work for you? That is a fantastic question and that's something we're going to have by the end of this year. So, Okay, great. Um, especially if you're with host agencies. Yeah, excellent. Can you store client credit card information? Great and very common question. 
We do not store client credit card information, and that's purely for compliance purposes, not just for on our end, but to make sure we're protecting our users, our agents, because honestly, if you think about it, if Experian can get hacked, what's keeping you know a smaller company like Tricep Solutions, knock on wood, from being hacked? That information is really private. But we are looking at ways how we can implement third-party solutions to do that. Our security is really strict. Um, but unfortunately, today we do not have that capability. Okay. Um, do you have a client facing app so that our clients can get on there and look around and tell us what kind of vacation they want to take? So, with Accelerator not being a booking engine, um, we do not uh, have a client-facing app for doing a vacation research right now. We are looking at ways of how we can uh, do a mobile solution for you know, the agents. So if agents want to do client management, if they want to manage reservations, what's the best way we can provide that on a mobile space? Unfortunately, right now, we do not have a client-facing app. We're not in the consumer side yet. Uh, we're focused purely on B2B, meaning business-to-business -business. agencies are businesses. So uh, hopefully that answers that. But we are tablet-friendly in terms of just accelerator use um, for, for the accelerator platform. So Okay, excellent. If a supplier is not listed on accelerator, can it still be imported or entered manually? Absolutely. That is a fantastic question. I'm sorry I did not cover that part. That's a really important part. Um, but yes, you can actually enter in anything into Accelerator. It doesn't matter if the supplier exists in our import uh, feature or not, but you can always go in and add reservations manually as much as you want and also create itineraries out of that. And it's pretty quick. Um, and as you can see, you can report your sales. Yeah, I want to show that while I pull this up, but you can report sales to whoever your host agency is. But yes, you can import any type of uh, reservations manually into Accelerator. Okay, so. fantastic. <clears throat> uh, we have a question about um, information security. Uh, can you talk about that? Is the information kept private to the agency or does it go into a big general database with Accelerator? So you can imagine how secure we are if we don't even allow uh, customer credit card information to be stored. We do not want any information leaked about anything. So all the information that you do put in, it's purely yours. Um, we don't even ser save anything on our on our end on our servers. It's completely cloud based and completely secure. So no, we don't share any information about any of your clients, et cetera, to anybody or with anybody. So excellent. Uh, do you have a live connect product? Oh, <laughs> live connect, and I, you know, that's a good question. We do not. And I do need to do a little bit more research on Live Connect. I know that's uh, quite popular, but we do not have a Live Connect um, feature. Okay. Um, if uh, agents are currently using a CRM tool and they want to migrate over to um, Accelerator, it, does Accelerator accept information from most of the major databases out there right now? So that's a good question. With that kind of migration, you can imagine um, companies not wanting or brands not wanting users to leave. So usually they don't allow them to take that data into another database, correct? However, what we do have the ability to do is um, you can pull in, um, I'm sorry, you can actually export your client list. If you have an existing client list on any of those databases, you can export that. And as and I showed the, um, I know I previously showed the, the format of our spreadsheet. If you can match it to that format, you should be able to import all of that into Accelerator. Unfortunately, uh, to be completely transparent, we can't import trips or reservations from anything that's uh, from outside sources unless you want to manually enter it or through PDF or through a BAX import. Okay, but what you're saying is that you can import a client list that has name, address, uh, contact information, that kind of thing? Correct. 
correct birthday address that kind of so contact information your client list with all of their contact information can still be uploaded into accelerator okay uh, we have a question about um, independent contractors working for agents do they pay their own monthly fee for each independent contractor or can it be arranged that they <laughs> pay their own fee rather than the main <laughs> agent paying it so that is something for your agency or the agent that you work with to determine. Obviously, I mean, if, if you if you are the agency owner and you have independent contractors, we do have agents who have their independent contractors pay for Accelerator on their own. Um, they, they do have that. Um, or whether if you want to be uh, if you want to pay for theirs, you can do that as well. But honestly, that's that's not on the accelerator level. That's more on whether your agent wants to do it um, as a bonus for you or not, or your oh, sorry, agency owner. But can it be set up that way with an accelerator? Uh, no, the owner of the account would have to would be billed. So you can't make you can't split out payments like that on accelerator. Okay, but each individual independent contractor has their own sign-in. Yes, correct. Every every user has their own sign-in. Okay. Um, what kind of training is available on Accelerator? Fantastic, fantastic question. And I'm very excited about this question because this was uh, part of our release today. So once you sign up for Accelerator, you'll be taken through a quick onboarding, which uh, we're working on to show you what are some of the quick steps you can do to start using Accelerator quickly. Uh, this actually, we just revamped this today. We took out any additional fluff that was around this training page, but everything is broken up into really quick one to two page, maximum two page help docs with very quick visual cues on there to make it really easy for you to follow. Uh, we also do one-on-one -on -one demos if you'd prefer that. Uh, our team does support that as well, but a lot of people like to be, to do self-help stuff. So. Um, if you log in, um, register, this following the Get Started Quick Guide should get you up and going in no time and get you comfortable with Accelerator. Okay. And, and we do have the support, sorry. Sorry, we do also have the support where you can go in, um, also enter in any support questions you have right from the header. So that's there as well. But we have okay. plenty of training and support in place. Excellent. That's what I was going to ask. Um, do you have expense tracking? We do not. We are not a. We do not have um, back office solution right now in terms of that kind of uh, that kind of activities. Uh, we're more for the home based home um, or independent um, contractor or just you know smaller agencies who don't need that kind of robust um, robust features. Now, does that mean we'll never have it? Absolutely not. When we listen to more and more agents and attend more events and hear fee feedback such as, oh, I'd like to have this and I'd like to have that, we definitely start thinking about how we can implement that quickly. So we work very, very fast. Okay. Well, I think that does it for the questions. And again, to our agents, if uh, we didn't get to your question or if you think of something after this webinar is over, Namita has the email address up there again. So do get in touch with her and her team and um, she will be happy to help you. Um, so Namita, how about if we uh, talk about the prize giveaway now? And this is how it's going to work. Namita is going to post a multiple choice question and she is going to read the question and the four answers. Um, and um, uh, the fifth correct answer that I see on my screen will be the one to win the free year of Accelerator. However, um, please note that any answers that come in before Namita has finished reading all of the uh, answers uh, will not be considered because uh, people are seeing these slides at different times. So once Namita finishes answering, uh, asking the, the whole question and giving you the multiple choice answers, uh, then go ahead and vote. And the fifth um, correct answer I see come across my screen will be the winner. So if that's clear, Namita, go ahead and post and ask the question. Okay, well, I hope everyone's ready and I hope everybody was paying attention because one year of accelerator is a pretty cool, pretty cool holiday. Uh, <laughs> <a gift. laughs> All right, here we go. Which of the following is true? 
Task A, Accelerator is only available for VAX users. B, I cannot print itineraries from Accelerator. C, Accelerator lets me create client lists. D, there is an annual fee for Accelerator. Okay, and do you mean an annual contract or do you mean an annual fee? Either annual contract or annual fee. Okay. Well, okay, I'll say, you know what, I'll say annual contract. Okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, I see there are votes coming in already. And let's see who is the fifth correct answer. To... Oh, a lot of people are getting the answer correct, Namita. They were paying attention. Oh, I made it too easy. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Okay, we have a winner, and the winner is, and I hope I say this right, Charlene Lucas, or Charlene, if you pronounce it that way. Um, so congratulations. The correct answer was C, Accelerator Lets Me Create Client Lists, and the winner is Charlene Lucas. Um, I hope I said the first name right. Uh, so congratulations, and we will be passing your contact information along to Namita, and Namita will get in touch with you to let you know how to claim your free one-year subscription to um, Accelerator. This has been absolutely fantastic. Our um, uh, webinar today has been hosted by Tricep Solutions, and our wonderful speaker has been Namita Premnet, Senior Product Manager for Accelerator. Namita, as always, this was fantastic, very exciting product, and we really appreciate your telling us about it today. Absolutely. And thank you, everyone, for joining once again. If you have any questions, please do shoot it my way. Uh, I hope you took the address down. But once again, giving you some time back, back into your schedule. And uh, everyone, get on and register. <laughs> thank you so much, Sandy. You're welcome. And I want to also thank all of our agents who attended today and uh, took time out of your day to be here. I know you got a lot out of this. So thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.